Hey guys, Baltrix Pretzel here. Thank you for joining me for yet another speed build. So, for this um, for this video, I'm actually going to do a renovation of a house that was um, a house that just comes with The Sims. Um, so, since there's not a huge amount of structure to build, I'm just going to go right in with the um, with introducing the family. So. This is actually a family I made a little while ago that I thought would be would work well for a let's play, and I might, you know, in time when the Ava Holland let's play is done, um, use them for a new one. But I'm not entirely sure just yet. Uh, but anyways, so this is Nick Varner. Um, he wants to be a best-selling author. He's creative, family-oriented, and he's romantic. Um, so in my original storyline. Um, for what I was thinking about doing a let's play for them was Nick comes from this middle class family. He had to like less than middle class family. He had to work for everything he had. You know, he had jobs from a very young age, you know, doing anything he could to save up. So, and especially wanting to be a writer, he's very, he, like, he's really struggled with making money. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's his backstory. Um, he's also very, very close to his family. Um, anyways, let's just take a quick look at his outfit. So that's its everyday look. His formal. His athletic. His sleepwear. Oh, that was it. I thought it didn't load. Um, his party wear. And his swimwear. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and meet his wife. So this is Jordan Weber. Um, so she wants to be a freelance botanist. Uh, she wants. To, uh, she is creative. She's family oriented, and she's good. So, um, her backstory is she comes from a very wealthy family, um, but you know, unlike um, unlike Nick's family, you know, everyone wasn't very close. They, you know, there was a lot of pressure, and she just didn't like the environment she was raised in. And um, as soon as she finished school, she left. You know, she left all her belongings behind she literally just took like i mean she had her trust fund which you know is a lot of money for her um and she had that and this ring that she wears in oh that zooms into her face she has this ring right here which she always wears um which her grandmother gave to her and was the only relative that she was close to um but unfortunately her grandma died when she was a kid um but yeah so she set off on her own with only that ring and her trust fund and you know maybe a couple clothes um, and she donated, like, half her money to various charities because she's a good sim. So she has, you know, quite a bit to live off of, um, but not as much as she originally had. Um, and when she met Nick, you know, it was, like, love at first sight. She just completely fell in love with him. And her parents, um, you know, actually really dislike Nick. Um, and anyways, I'm going really too in depth with this. It's like I'm doing the intro of my Let's Play. Um, anyways, one day when the Ava Holland Let's Play is done, I will be doing one with this family and I can see lots of drama in its future, um, based mostly on her family. Anyways, let's just take a quick look at her outfits. Um, so that's her everyday outfit. Here is her formal, her athletic wear, her sleepwear. Her party, her swimwear, and there we go. So that is the family for this build. Um, now let's get to the speed renovation. All right. So as I mentioned when I was introducing you guys to uh, the family, this is a renovation build. So um, I'm building on uh, Havisham House. So I just call this Havisham House Reno. Um, pretty simple name. Um, and it's in uh, Windenburg. It's a 20 by 20 lot. And uh, when I was done, this was a one bedroom, one bathroom that came out to 81,224 simoleons. Uh, lot not included. Um, yeah, so when I, I just, I moved the Simpson uh, right away. And, um, words. And I guess I moved it, I moved them in uh, to an unfurnished lot so I wouldn't have to delete objects and decorations. Um, so the idea behind my renovation for this was to just add a small extension to the house to make the living area bigger and then that little 5x5 square 
um, room would be turned into a greenhouse uh, for Jordan to be able to garden as much as she wanted. Um, and I was so happy I found one of those like glass dance floors that actually fit perfectly. I actually didn't know the sizes for them by heart yet. Um, so here I'm just doing this because I wanted a between wall and ceiling trim all around the house. So I just needed to move the um, move the roof and just add a add a room for half a second and then delete it all. Um, yeah, I didn't delete any of the plants because I wanted to keep them. I wanted to keep the same plants throughout this build. So I just moved them around until I could, you know, replace them. Um, so I, I mean, it's probably not exact what exactly like how it was done originally, but I mean, it still looked good. Um, yeah, so here I was just deciding, you know, where to put what, um, I, cause I had like, I actually sketched this out in advance, but I only sketched out the exterior, so I knew what that was going to look like, I didn't know how I was going to do the uh, interior exactly. I thought about turning the upstairs into a two bedroom, but I didn't really feel like it. <laughs> um, obviously you can easily turn it into a two bedroom, like upstairs you just have to like... Um, you know, make a hallway route so that everyone can have access to the bathroom, um, and then just, you know, just like two walls and you're done, honestly, like, anyways. Um, so I wanted a black and white kitchen, I'm not sure why, but I just sort of did, um, and I knew I wanted an island in there, so I use it as sort of like an island counter combo, um, and I put the stove in the middle of that island because I just, I really like the look of that, honestly. Um, and I really hate that this fridge never, like, perfectly fits with the counters. So I just, you know, did some move objects, um, cheat stuff, and I just, you know, placed it how I wanted. Um, <laughs> and that way I was able to fit a garbage right there. Uh, yeah. Um, for this table, I, I didn't want, like, I wanted more of a square than a thin rectangle. It's still a rectangle, obviously. Um, but... It's a lot thicker than your regular one by two table. So, um, yeah. Living room, you know, pretty simple. I just put a three seater couch in there because, I mean, you know, it's a house for two people. <laughs> um, in the original house, that little corner is a closet. Um, I didn't want to keep it a closet. I didn't see the point of having a closet there. I was originally going to turn it into a powder room. But I decided to make it a sort of little office-y nook area. Um, plus, they don't really need two, uh, two bathrooms in here. So, yeah. Um, I actually had a really hard time finding a lamp for this area. It was surprising how, like, how difficult I found it. Um, it just Because I wanted something that looked nice, but I also wanted it to be very lit up because it is a dark little corner. Um, and I don't, what did I end up using? Um, yeah, okay, I ended up using a lamp that took up a lot of space. Um, yeah, that one over there, I ended up using that. I don't like how it looks, really, but it really lights up the area, so I sucked up and I let it, I let it be that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got nine little potters in there so she can grow whatever she wants as long as it, you know, fits height-wise. <laughs> Um, which I think the trees tend to, or at least the apple and plantains trees. Those are the only ones I've actually really seen. Um, but anyways, I can always just, you know, plant a bunch of different flowers in there or something if she wanted. Um, yeah, so anyways, it's a little greenhouse <laughs> in The Sims. I loved in The Sims 3 that you could actually make a legitimate greenhouse. That was really cool. I really miss all those packs. Like, those packs were great in The Sims 3. It was fantastic. Um, yeah. Anyway, every time I try to build on The Sims 3, um, I feel like I'm so spoiled by the realism of Sims 4 that I have like no interest in doing it in The Sims 3 anymore. Even though like the packs and the items and there was, you know, um, terrain leveling, which was awesome. But I don't know. Like It's the realism that bothers me. And also on this current computer... Um, there's something weird that happens with the visual settings of Sims 3, and I have tried to fix it. Um, <laughs> I've tried to fix it, and I've, like, asked two friends to try and fix it, and they just weren't able to, so I don't know what it is. 
um, about this computer that doesn't want to run Sims 3 properly, but I have to pull out my old laptop if I ever want to build on Sims 3, and that's just a bit of a hassle. Um, plus, the screen on my old laptop is so much smaller than this one. So it's just like, I look at it and I'm like, mm, nope, not down. <laughs> Anyways, total tangent there. Um, I decided to add the shelves there with a bunch of different items just for a more realistic, cluttered look. Um, I, should, I really should do that in more of my houses, but I tend to put so many windows in all of my builds that there's no wall space for me to put that many decorations in the kitchen. Um, it's kind of a mess. Um... Yeah, so I don't put up that many paintings uh, all over the walls. A lot of the walls end up being bare um, for two reasons. One, you don't want walls that are too cluttered. I find it, I find it's just very unrealistic. Um, unless you're in a museum, you're not gonna walk into a place and have every single inch of wall covered in paintings. Um, actually, unless you were in my old bedroom where I literally had a wall plastered with um, posters, like, they were overlapping, there were just so many of them, anyways, uh, irrelevant, um, most places, you know, have paintings here or there, um, anyways, that's reason one, and reason two was, uh, Jordan, um, yeah, she wants to be a, uh, freelance botanist, but I thought maybe she could, you know, she'd be really, really into painting or something, so I stick an easel in there, and once she gets, you know, once she gets her skill up, you could put her paintings up on the walls or something um yeah <laughs> anyways that was my thought behind it um yeah all right so working on that bedroom i decided to actually put a closet in there um i would have loved to have the two by two closet the huge one but it just for how i wanted the layout of the room to go it would not have made much sense so I decided against it. Um, yeah, so I stick a little ottoman there, and um, very soon I'm going to go into like the pre-designed rooms right there just to get like some inspiration of what to do. I just, I don't know, it was a big bedroom, and I actually just had no idea what I wanted to do with it, so I was just sort of like, um, what to do, what to do? Anyways, I figured it out, finally. Um, just started placing items and then moving them around. I was like, all right, that's it's starting to look good. I'm going to go with that. Um, so here, a little reading nook area. Yeah, you have the bed, the ottoman, and the duster you can sleep on, uh, sit on and read. But why not have two extra little seats, you know? Um, with a nice little carpet in between you, in between that and the easel. Just really to fill up the empty space in the middle of, of the room. Um, carpets are always good for that. Um, yeah, oh, this house does not have any curtains. I've been so good with curtains lately, and I just ruined it with this house. Sorry. <laughs> um, but I think that's okay. You guys are used to me not putting curtains anyways. Um, yeah, anyways, just getting a couple final decorations in there. Um, yeah, and I did obviously use money cheats, um, as you guys can tell, for this build, because... Well, you know, Jordan's supposed to have some money in her account. You know, she comes from a wealthy family, so she has some money in there to decorate and do whatever. So I didn't feel bad about using money cheats here. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, this house is just, like, really, really adorable. And um, it doesn't, the greenhouse sort of gives, like, it sort of takes away any privacy effect. So I did put a little fenced-in area in the front right there. Um, which I turned into a little barbecue area, which I think is actually really, really cute. I really wanted a barbecue area. Um, I didn't realize how low I was on money by the end of this, but I, I mean, it didn't really matter because I was done building. I didn't really need any of the more expensive things. Um, so yeah, just, I really like how this house turned out. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Link in the description below to where you can download this house and this family. Um, check out my other videos, hit subscribe so you know when my next videos are up. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so, so very much for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.